unpredictable when you ask me why you wear your feelings on your shoulder you're asking questions as you're older it's undeniable that you feel this way when all the noises are so mesmerizing
Nobody's waiting, never seen before. History in the making, so let the cameras roll. <laughs> Patrick's not even paying attention. Oh my gosh. You're in the zone, dude. Uh, oh my goodness. How is everyone Saturday? Welcome everyone. Welcome. So so Patrick, we did a thing yesterday. Um Yeah, I heard about we did, it. We didn't get a horse. We didn't get a horse. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. We did get 
another puppy. Oh, that's ridiculous. That little is Bernadette. Ridiculous. Little Bernadette. That is she's Bernadette. A, uh, Bernie's Bernadette. mountain dog. I think I said that right. So, yeah. She's cute. How how big? Cute. How big is that dog gonna uh, get? Maybe a, around a hundred pounds. Maybe a little less. So little not more? not super huge. Not super huge. <sighs> Jeez. Not super huge. Uh, yeah, Chatmaster C saying 85 pounds. So you got to turn down your headset a little bit, my friend. You always forget that. What about now? What about now? What about all now? good? All good? All good? All good? All right. Uh yeah. So uh, it was funny when we were talking. We're like, oh, this is gonna be a big dog, and I'm like, eh, nah, not really. It's all right. So you know, Ash is over 200. So so let me let me ask this: How many? How many? dogs is that now so that's technically technically or like i mean in the house right now in the, on, se on the seven yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're suckers for dogs man I just, yeah. we get we got a big backyard though we got and they can go in and out and all that so they got plenty of space yeah. so i i yeah i totally forced chat master c to look at the puppies yeah totally forced her totally forced her anyway all right <laughs> yeah and they're they're all they're not small dogs so they're all the no, smallest the I smallest know. one we have uh is roxy she's over 50 pounds i know that so yeah God, yeah she totally a, told like me a, a hitch on your truck pretty soon to get food well i mean we, we gotta buy um, we gotta buy a horse trailer so um you know that'll be able to transport the dogs also so talking talking jesus <laughs> all right everyone welcome 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 if you are new to guy in a cube or just the live stream for the first time put hashtag new in the chat we always love seeing uh, all the all the new folks yes matthew yes that was actually almost patrick's reaction <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, it's, uh, it it's is a good day. It's ridiculous. It's yeah, ridiculous. It it's ridiculous. The Saxton Zoo. Saxton Zoo. So, all right. Uh, also, a uh, big, uh, big shout out to the members of Guy in a Cube. You help us do what we do here on Guy in a Cube. We very much appreciate it. It always blows our mind. Uh, if you uh, want to learn more about being a member of Guy in a Cube, check out the link on the screen or hit the join button down below. No commitment required. Um, and or maybe someone will gift memberships out to people. Who knows? That's a whole new thing on YouTube. Uh, so uh, if you see folks with the green name or the Guy in a Cube logo next to their name, they are members of Guy in a Cube. So special thank you to all of you. Uh, yes, we're buying a zoo. Guy in a kennel. <laughs> this property we looked at, they had, they had, it was, uh, it, it did have a kennel on property. Um, it was like 30 acres. It had a kennel, had a horse uh, stables as well. And the kennels looked nicer than the actual house on the property. So I was like, oh, I'm going to stay there. So, yes. Uh, so, but yes, thank you to the members of Guy Q. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see all the, the, the folks that are new here. I got uh, Z Pack is new. That's funny. Z Pack. I like that. Uh, Varun is new. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny's back, man. He's relapsed. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> and then uh, Sung, Sung Lee. First time joining the live stream, uh, live session. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, uh, was it... Uh, I think I saw someone uh, talking about... Oh, yeah. Paul, you said uh, buying stock in Purina. So when we buy dog food, we've got to buy a lot of dog food. So it's... Uh, several several multiple bags so that is sorry this is bugging me uh, uh, there we go that was clipped on sorry kept seeing it out of the corner of my eye all right uh so uh christian yeah you're <laughs> you're not new anymore ah uh, all right uh let's see oh and uh alex is here i saw alex uh, oh, that's Alex. Uh, Alex D is in the house. Yeah, I don't know about uh, Mr. Powers yet. Uh, I don't know if he's joining us this morning. Uh, I so know hopefully... he's out every Friday. So yeah, he's out every Friday. Uh, but I know he was having like a lot of weather things. They were dealing with potential flooding in uh, his area. No, there he goes. He's oh, here. Alex here. is here. All right, Alex Powers is here. Nice. Yeah. 
Hey, Alex, command is implemented and turned on. Oh, you did say I didn't see it, man. It was it was flying by. It was flying by. Sorry. Uh, hopefully you're you're doing all right out by you and anyone in that area that was dealing with flooding. Um, that is no joke. Uh, Alex sent a picture of it. And that was that was crazy. That was crazy. Excuse me. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Uh, so rules uh, before we get into the questions. If you do have a question, please put Q in front of it. Uh, Chatmaster C is standing by uh, to get it queued up. One time is all you need. We don't get to all the questions uh, in uh, in the stream. So apologies if we don't get to it. Come back next week. Uh, and we'll, we'll get it then. Uh, or come back next time if uh, another time uh, next week or beyond. Uh, so uh, if we do have a three strikes rule here on Guy in a Cube. So if you do spam the question, wah, stupid bots. Wow, uh, look at that. I know, I that. know. They're going crazy. YouTube really needs to do something about that. Um, yeah, if you do, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, if uh, yeah, if you do spam the chat, you will get put in a timeout, or in that case, you got deleted. Um, <laughs> So please do not spam the chat. Uh, our lovely moderators are standing by along with Chatmaster C, uh, everyone except for Patrick, uh, to put you in a yeah, timeout. Yeah, so uh, so please do not spam. One time's all you need. All right, with that, I think we're ready. You ready for the questions? Yeah, let's roll. All right, so John coming in with the first question. Uh, this was data flows in a chain. A feeds B, which feeds C. What are uh, the practices for scheduling refresh? Uh, can all start at the same time? Um, a space so each completes before uh, next start. Uh, what if A refresh fails? Uh, Patrick, this one is, uh, it depends. It depends. I got the one. Got all the right. One. So uh, I'm going to, I, uh, when, Sometimes it's good to maybe go search for things. Uh, so, you know, you can go to the uh, internet search engine of your choice, but when you go to Bing, you could type in Power BI <laughs> Data Flows Refresh, um, and you'll get some links. And so I found a link uh, out on Bing, uh, and it talked about uh, the process for linked entities uh, and how that works, and so chaining of those data flows. And one thing it says is that if it's in the same workspace, if both data flows are in the same workspace, oh my gosh, there's another one. They're on a roll today. Um, if, uh, uh, if they're in the same workspace, then it will auto trigger the refresh of the referenced one. So that'll, that'll happen. If they're in different workspaces, then they won't. Um, so it, it just depends on how you're actually architecting them. So if they are in different workspaces, you'll have to consider that uh, and figure that out. And so if, if you have two workspaces and uh, you know, workspace A is the first one and then workspace B is the second one, uh, if workspace A, A fails, workspace B refresh is still going to go, but it's not going to have the latest data. So just be aware of that. So <laughs> uh, Nick's in the chat. Avenger uh, Nerd Dad here. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while either. Uh, he said, "At least they should sub to you." Average. <laughs> that's it's, funny. It's, it's I know it's average. average. It's I average. like to say Avenger because <laughs> that's how I look at him. I don't think he's average. He's a superstar. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So it just it just depends on where the data flow is. So you'll just have to consider that. So good question, John. Thanks. All right, uh, uh, Muhammad. Uh, let's see here. Uh, previewing data in Data Hub doesn't appear to respect any uh, OLS RLS security on the data set. So anyone with build permission sees everything. Uh, when will this be fixed? Damn, another one. Golly. Yeah, I know. But, yeah. but if you have, uh, if you're just viewer on the workspace, it should but no, does build this is the problem you? so when you build permission or you've got rights to create on that you're effectively well, thrown so it elevates yeah, you yeah right so it you're thrown in the owner right. of of the data set which means rls yeah. isn't applied there so i don't i don't think it's anything wrong with it here it's just muhammad it's that's just how, that's typical behavior you're yes. above a viewer 
in the workspace and so rls is ignored when you're above a view in the workspace yep so you got to think about so that not, when you're not being applied yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta think about that when you give someone build access or you're in that scenario is that yeah they could see everything yep. um so you yep. need to treat that yep. accordingly but but so yeah okay okay I'm yeah, just yeah, thinking just so how it when works. you when you're doing all the make table stuff, then RLS won't apply because you need to have elevated permissions in the data hub. If you only have view, you can't do anything with the. So, and set. Alex, LXD is bringing up a good point. It's not necessarily build, and the whole build concept is effectively going away um, because you have, yeah, yeah, yeah. because that's rolled into viewer, so that should respect RLS, but it's the contributor member piece that will. So, there, there's just scenarios there where, um, where it'll come up. So you got to think about it. You just got to yeah. think about it. Like I said, God, jeez. Yeah, it's just, it's getting bad on YouTube. I know that. So, oh, it's all good. Moderators are doing their job. Appreciate it. Um, so let's, uh, let's go to, uh, the next one. Uh, so Prasad has got a question here. Do you have, uh, where to go? Do you have any references for Power BI with Dynamics 365? Uh, where's Scott? LinkedIn. Scott in the house. Is yeah. Scott in the chat? Hang on. I bet you Alex <laughs> is going to find the link. Before hey, I Alex. Do, there's, but... there's, there's, there's documentation out there. Um, yeah, but so Scott has also, some really good. Yeah, Scott's also done some, uh, some uh, webinar like live streams on that. Um, so as well. So on the Power BI YouTube channel. Uh, MS Power BI. So I think I believe he did one there. Um, and he's he's done some others. So uh, ah, yeah, Scott yeah. Siebel's definitely. Uh, if you go, if you go that, so the other thing, Chewy. Uh, thanks uh, thanks for saying that. When you say Dynamics 365, what part of Dynamics are you talking? FNO? Oh, or are you sure. talking CRM? Or are you talking like what are you talking? Because uh, Dynamics is a very broad. Jeez. <sighs> Dynamics is very broad. Very broad. So. Um, so we need more details on, on what that is. So, all right, making me angry. So I'll let the, uh, the link masters in the chat do that. Yeah. TNFNO, best of luck. <laughs> yep. Uh, Dataverse is probably going to be the main thing. So, so check out yeah. Dataverse and see if, if it applies in the Dataverse. So I will not claim to be a dynamics mm -hmm. expert. So. Nope. All right, uh, Parsaram, I hope I got that right. Uh, let's see, is there any website where we can see great visual images of Power BI reports? Yep. Uh, so I think you mean if examples you to, of Power BI reports? So Yeah, if you go to community. Yeah, community.powerbi.com. Powerbi.com. And then there's some sample reports in the, Alex is gonna beat me again. I'm just not fast <laughs> enough for this. But if you go to the galleries section, there's a galleries, uh, theme data story galleries. There's 6,831 of them. Yep, he beat me. Okay. There, well, you, there go. you go. There you go. Yep. Yeah, go to the galleries. Yeah. I just got it. Dang it there I just you go. Got it. Bam. Uh, by the way, moderators, you're uh, you're having to work today. Appreciate y'all. This, this is insane. All right, moving on, moving on. There's actually uh, some really nice reports out there too. There There's are some really nice there reports nice out there. Uh, the other thing yeah. I'll point you to as well uh, is, uh, hey Alex, can you drop the uh, learn link to the uh, uh, visualization Ooh, learn section? Yeah. Um, yeah if you yeah. want like some concepts and thoughts about how to approach visualization of reports uh, and to make you know pretty reports, um, go check out that learn content. It's free for you. Uh, it's amazing content. Um, so that is uh, that is definitely something you should go check out for sure. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it. Um, all right, uh, Tasha. Uh, does direct query allow temp tables from SQL DB? So oh. let me, can I, can I, <laughs> can I just it. say this? Go for can it, I go just for say it. This? Don't do it. Don't create any types of objects 
in SQL Server, I mean, in your T-SQL that you're sending to Power BI. Just don't do it because Power BI sends queries um, the way it wants to send queries and you just can't control it. So don't do it. Just do not create, do any type of data definition language in your T-SQL. I, I mean, I, I'll tell you that. Now, will it work? I don't know. I never tried it, to be honest with you, because you shouldn't do it. I, I don't um, recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. Because the don't. challenge here, too, when you're dealing with those temp tables is you're not guaranteed necessarily on when things are going to fire or if they're going to fire multiple times. And so you could run into trouble there. So that's generally why well, I say don't do it. And then the challenge with temp tables is Power BI doesn't know about the schema until it actually runs that query. So if you're trying to output that schema, it has no idea. So use views or use something that's deterministic that Power BI would know. Stay away from the temp tables. They just yep. don't do it. Just yep. do not do it. Absolutely. All right, hopefully that helps you out. Sorry, Tasha. Did, did, don't, don't mean to be so yeah. direct. Just don't do it. You're just raining on Tasha's parade. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it's that you're going to introduce so many uncertainties and things that you don't need to do by doing that. Stay away from it. Use a CTE. Use, use anything else. And I don't even know if CTE will work with direct query. Use anything else but data definition. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. it doesn't allow it anyway. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. All right, uh, Michael. Uh, when should you use <laughs> data flows versus traditional data warehouse and Power BI? Uh, <sighs> Michael, whenever you can. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Wait, sorry. you're saying you should use I'm the sorry. data flow whenever you can? I'm, I'm sorry. But reverse, reverse, this. Reverse, reverse that. Reverse that. Reverse that. Reverse it. Reverse it. <laughs> so I was like, wait, if, what? If Michael, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reverse it. If you have the opportunity to go against a centralized data warehouse where all the data is cleaned up, you know, you have all your business rules, everything there, go directly against that data warehouse because it minimizes all the stuff. Chewy, I'm not saying it depends. It's not, it I'm doesn't not depend. It depends. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it depends. You go against your data warehouse because you can, I mean, if you own it, or someone is building it for you, go and get everything built in that data warehouse. So you're just pulling data from Power BI and then you're building your metrics, you're creating your relationships, if it doesn't already automatically detect those. And you just do that type of stuff in the model. And all the, here he goes, here he goes. No, and no, no, I, I, it, I, I, I'm actually gonna go back and, and say, <laughs> yes, I agree with Chewy, it does depend. Because if you don't have any control over that, then and you don't have access to your your data source, then yeah. That, but that's but I said that I said that no, no. Oh, I said if you have access, yeah, no. if but you that's have where the de it depends to do comes these in. These types of things, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. I want to see so if this see works. It. I want to see if this works. I tried something and I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, that didn't work. All right, never mind. Uh, so uh, put put Matthew's comment up. Put Matthew's comment up to Michael, right. if you don't mind. I like it. I like Matthew's comment. Uh, yeah. Yep. I like Chewy's comment too. It, it does depend, but Matthew's comment is perfect. So you use data flows when you don't have a data warehouse or if there are factors that prevent you from building on, right? Um, data flow, they're, they're for self-service, right? But not a replacement for a data warehouse. I, perfect. It's perfectly said, Matthew. And I think Matthew said this in the video he and I did a long, long, long time ago on data flows. And so if you can create a data warehouse, if not data flows, yeah, I won't, I'm not gonna call them a replacement for a data warehouse, but they can provide some self-service <laughs> and some centralization of it. Yeah. Alex, it's just, it's it's the number of questions that gets it. Not not the I'm number gonna, of times we say gonna, the word in a question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna he's stop. Gonna, he's gonna, 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 stop. He's gonna, gonna, gonna stop. break stop. Patrick. That's what he's gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, it's a condition. Oh, yeah. It's like he says it's not an it depends. It's a conditional decision. Well, I mean, that's where it a depends, though, right? Decision. I mean, it, yeah, that's. Oh, I like that's, it. That's I the like definition it. of it depends, though, right? <laughs> it depends means there's conditions. So for me, that's the that means the same thing oh, from my perspective. Look at Daft Pre's, if I pronounce that right. Look at their comment. I like it. Living Look data flows as my org thinks SharePoint is a database. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. All right. 
So uh, yes, yes, yeah. It's but that goes to what Matthew's saying, though, right? If you don't have the ability to build those kind of things, data flows are perfect. Yeah. Oof. I have Matthew is DAX overrated. No, it's underrated. Should write more DAX. I kid. I kid. Let's go. All right, I got the link wrong. I was hoping that command would work. I gotta, I gotta figure that out. I gotta get that working. All right, all right, all right. Where are we at? Uh, let's see here. All right, Darren. A good stream. Darren. Darren. Uh, is the ability to create multiple apps from the same workspace on the roadmap? Uh, no. Technically, that's not on the roadmap. Um, but there is something on the roadmap uh, that, nice assuming, it's, the roadmap, assuming right? it's still there, um, Alex is probably going to beat me. Yeah, Matthew, the the second link I, I put there and what Jason put there was the right. That, that goes to your blog. Um, only because I can... Oh, never mind. Uh, yes. All right. Alex already, already dropped it in there. So, uh, what, what is coming is not necessarily multiple apps, but it's the ability to add like, uh, uh, access lists for like specific items within the app. So you can kind of have like different roles or, or views of a given app, depending on who's coming in to see it. So like maybe executives see one report, um, and then everyone else doesn't see that report, but they see something else. Um, so that's what's going to uh, get that for you. So, hey, is, excited is that for a that. unicorn in your t-shirt? That. Is that a pink yeah. unicorn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Is that Deadpool? Right. It is Deadpool. Unicorn? It is Deadpool. Oh, right in the unicorn. That's cool. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. 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 Yes, I agree, Matthew. Uh, I agree, Matthew. That is uh, that is uh, something has been long awaited for a long time. So, yeah, yeah. Is it a Power BI unicorn, though. No, no. Uh, I like it. I like that T-shirt. That's a cool. Johnny, t-shirt. it's whatever you want it to be. I'll, I'll say that. If you want it to be a Power BI unicorn, it's a Power BI unicorn. It's all good. Uh, it's not a. I don't. I don't see a Power BI logo anywhere on that T-shirt. It's not a Power BI unicorn. So. <laughs> <laughs> me, you look a squirrel. That, was, that was to you by the way so i know i know yeah, who she's yeah, talking yeah. to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right uh yeah so i can't i can't wait till till that feature is out that'll be nice um all right let's see uh let's see here is there a way we could know how long a report refresh could take in power bi uh, I mean, you could refresh it in Power BI Desktop. I'll give you yeah, an idea. Yeah, it's an estimate. Yeah, it's an estimate. But I mean, I, I, so for this question, I'd love to ask, what what's your goal with that? Like, how are you, like, what, what, what are you trying to accomplish there? And like, where would you want to see that if that was there? Um, so I'm like, uh, outside of that, run the refresh and that'll give you a kind of a, you know, run it a couple times. It'll give you a baseline and, or do it from Power BI desktop. Um, I guess they're probably trying to fit it into all the other refreshes and trying to balance it out and not, you know, take too much resources. And I can think of a million no, reasons I, I why get I it. want to know that. I get yeah. it. Um, so, but, uh, but yeah, but I don't know where... Um, where you would want to see that, like, what's the, like, you're wanting to see that in the service, but I'm like, just run, I mean, you have to run the refresh in order to get the number. So there's no way yeah. to necessarily yeah. avoid it. No. Um, <laughs> nice, Alex. <laughs> can I unicorns. do it before, can I do it before I go to the service? Can I run a refresh I mean, before I go Harvey to I the desktop. service and get in? Yeah. What if I mean, my machine all... can't handle all the data? Get and a that's bigger why I'm machine. It to the service. Get a laptop okay. like I've got a yeah, laptop. Yeah. You got an answer. It'll for run everything. it. You got an answer for it. It'll run it. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's we'll get an Azure moving. VM, crank it up, and put Power BI Desktop in there. That'll run. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way to do it. <laughs> all right. Cool. Uh, all right. Uh, Akil. All right. Uh, there is a model level setting in Tom for disabling auto exists functionality since 
1566 compatibility level. What are the pros and cons Ooh. of doing that? I had a, I just read about that. Yeah, Patrick, what are the pro, pros and cons of doing that? Uh, I don't know the this pros and cons, but exists. I was talking to Marco about it. All right, let's, so let's, it's, it, here's the, let's do this together. Article, right? Well, yeah, but how'd you get to the article? I just opened up Bing. And there you go. SSA there you go. Auto exists. There you go. <laughs> All right. But it, he's, it, it's back in 2020 when he talks about auto exists with MDX queries. Uh, the currently this combination. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why did I read this article? <laughs> because you were bored and not doing anything during the day? I don't know why. Wait, I have a job. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, that article aligns that with your public? job, so that's good. Oh, only existing comp. So here's the link. Go read about it. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know. So, so tell us though, because I'm not looking at it. So auto exists is a feature of SSAS that shows in the result of queries only existing combinations of attributes. If, for example, you do not sell any blue shirt, you would not expect that combination of blue shirt blue and shirt to appear in any of your pivot tables even if you sell blue bikes and white shirts gotta read this i gotta read this i don't know i don't know what would be this event my guess is you won't see all the data if it, if the combination doesn't exist uh, that's going to be my guess um yeah. but i need to read this all the way to make yeah. sure all right well yeah good question akil yeah. Yeah, good question. Yeah, I don't know. So, oh, cross uh, join. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's yeah. saying it doesn't equal uh, cross join. That's not going to be. Yeah, that's going to be. Uh, I thought Patrick spent all this time helping <laughs> <laughs> customers. Well, that's 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 why it's he had to read the. That's why he read that art. It was in the context of helping a customer. It must have been. But if I put this whole link, is it going to shorten it when I post it? I, I mean, it'll out? be it'll be clickable. Oh, there you go. So go read that, uh, Akil. I'll read it. I'm, I will read this and uh, have a meeting with Marco in two weeks. Maybe I'll chat with him about it. But I'll read this article and oh, Igor I don't know. Saying, we'll see if it's uh, worth. It's nice. You are saying uh, yeah. uh, expand tables can help you understand auto exists. That's interesting. All right. Well, there you That's go. Interesting. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. Uh, we are getting close here um okay so nitin uh saying they're new to power bi how should they approach Ooh. um so we get this every once in a while but welcome to power bi i'm excited for you um there is a bunch of learn content um that can help you in this journey and get you started um so i think alex can uh, drop the link to the overall learn uh area uh, so definitely start there, go through, watch this channel. Yeah, for sure. You're in the right spot. Um, so there's a lot of beginner information out there. Uh, there's also like guidance documentation uh, in Power BI. I highly recommend you go there as well because that'll teach you about things like a star schema, uh, some best practices with Power BI. Uh, so those are all things that you should do. But the learn content is going to have things like an intro to DAX. It's going to have uh, just intro to Power BI overall, it's gonna have that design effective reports that Alex shared out earlier. Um, yeah, this is a, uh, it's, I, it, it, I guess it does depend, but there's just, it, only because there's so many great resources out there. Um, whether it's Guy in a Cube, whether it's official documentation, whether it's uh, all of the great community content from MVPs and other folks, tons of blogs, tons of video channels on YouTube. Um, so uh, it, in, in fairness, it can get a, a really overwhelming really fast. Um, so I would definitely start with the learn content um, and go there um, and see uh, see if that kind of helps you start in that journey. Um, there's also a concept of dashboard in a day. Um, so there's a lot of folks that put that on. Um, so you can go check that out and uh, maybe start with that as well. Um, so, yep, lots of lots of great stuff. All right. Chatmaster C. Um, so I'm going to grab one more real quick. Uh, let's while uh, Chatmaster C clears the queue, uh, so we are good for that. Members, start getting your questions in. Uh, so, <laughs> can you please compare Power BI and Cognos? 
There's no, no comparison. There's no comparison. <laughs> there's no uh, comparison. No. Sorry. No. Sorry, there's no, no comparison. RBI is an apple, Cognos is an orange. There's yeah. no comparison. So the better question there was, could you compare Power BI report server or SQL server reporting services with yeah. Cognos? Uh, that would be a better yeah. comparison. Uh, Power BI reports are completely different from Cog. Cognos is like the old operational reports, just like paginated reports. Um, Power BI reports are interactive, data exploration, all of that. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my recommendation personally would be migrate from Cognos over to Power BI, over to Power BI in general, whether it's paginated reports and or Power BI reports where it makes sense. So definitely do that. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, I like Paul's response. One is new and one is old. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. That is true. Nice. I love that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we are at the halfway mark in the stream. So we are going to kick over to member only chat where only members and moderators can participate uh, in the chat. Uh, so everyone else can still watch the stream and still get great learnings out of it. Um, so uh, definitely uh, don't go away. Uh, so if you do have a burning question that we didn't get to, uh, just because we never get through all the questions on the first half, um, Super Chats take priority over everything always during the stream, so you can absolutely send it in through a Super Chat. Um, if you do a Super Chat, just make sure you type in the question before you actually send it. So, um, so yes. All right. Uh, and if you want to learn more about being a member, where is it? Let me just drop that in the chat real quick. I'll do that and pin it. Uh, you can check out that link or hit the join button down below to learn more. No commitment required. Just thanks for checking it out. All right. Uh, let's kick over to member only chat. Chatmaster C is queuing up the member questions. All right. We are in. Bam. There we go. All right. And one of the benefits of being a member, either at the visitor or producer tiers, you can pre-submit questions. We do have one. Uh, question that uh, was pre-submitted. Um, it's I I'm going to preface this right away with saying I don't have the answer for this question, uh, but I have thoughts or, or things like I want to talk. I'm using it as a as a, a piece to talk about because I think it's interesting. Um, so but I do not have the answer for this question. Um, so Michael asked, uh, you'll notice a ton of uh, subscribe threads hitting the network. And so below is a uh, is a screenshot from a uh, Fiddler trace. So think of it like a network trace. Um, and uh, the vast majority all fail. Uh, the big item that exacerbates the issue was the time it takes for each one of the subscribe calls to cancel or fail. As a result, subsequent network calls are put on hold until the subscriber call cancels. And some of these are like a minute long. Um, this is causing our page load to what just happened. I don't know what happened there. Uh, it's that like again. Half. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah. I think I screwed up the something there. Um, this is causing our page load time to spike to unacceptable levels. Any insights? Silver bullets. All right. So let me kick back over before it goes black again. Um, one thing I will say here. So like I said, I don't know. I don't know why uh, it's taking that long. Um, that's something. Uh, initially, like if you're really hitting that and you're having a problem, I highly recommend opening a support uh, case to try and dig into that. It's gonna take some debugging and diagnostics to maybe figure that out. The one thing that I called out though, the first question I asked Michael was, are you doing this on a corporate network or are you doing this from like your home machine and you're just messing around with stuff? Um, and of course, Michael responded, he's like, yeah, we're doing this on the corporate network because it's a production application for the business. Um, and so the reason I asked that is because I've worked with customers before where we see odd behavior from a network perspective when interacting with Power BI in certain scenarios. And the the thing I said is, you know, if you're on a VPN or whatever, can you get off of the VPN and try it? Like, can we get the corporate network out of the picture? Is there a way we could potentially try this uh, without the corporate network in play? Because I've seen so many times when a corporate network, whether it's, you know, firewalls or proxies or things like that, where those things just can wreak havoc on network traffic in certain scenarios, um, depending on the rules that they have in place uh, for those items. Um, and so in general, when troubleshooting, 
and th this goes beyond the specific scenario is like if you have something there can we can we can we try and work towards making it the simplest repro as possible uh, and, and get it down to its most basic component to test and validate. Um, so because one thing we've done, I, I've done this with other customers in the past is when we remove the VPN or the corporate network and it works fine, I'm like, well, that's a big glaring uh, pointer to your corporate network. And it's not a Power BI issue. It is um, it is your corporate network that's interfering with that. So you got to go figure that out with your corporate network. Um, but I've seen this like with gateways as well and, um, you know, just other scenarios where, you know, we're, we have this weird oddity and I'm like, okay, can we just make it, try to make it its most simplest component before, uh, you know, and that, that helps narrow things down and where to go focus on. Um, so it's not, uh, it's not necessarily, you, people always jump to it's, oh, it's Power BI's issue because that's where the failure is. And it's nah, not necessarily, it could be just some other thing that's getting in the way. Uh, that we're not necessarily thinking about. So whether it's network or the data source or things of that nature. Um, so Power BI is the thing in your face and I typically see people just react and say, it's a Power BI problem. Power BI is not working or Power BI is is bad or whatever. And I'm like, eh, not necessarily. Like, let's let's try and figure that out. Um, it's, yeah, Fernando, it's always DNS, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is admin maxim. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Uh, so, uh, so I, I would just say like, like let's take some effort and th they're actually working. So in this case also, like, how would you do that? How would I take the corporate network out of the picture? And one thing I asked, I'm like, look, could we spin up like a trial tenant of some kind and just create like a simplified app that's doing something similar, what you're doing from an embedded perspective and then see that behavior. Cause then I can test that on the corporate network and then take that off of the corporate network. Cause their main production application, they're not going to be able to potentially test that off of the corporate network because and also there's potentially sensitive data so i don't recommend doing that so my recommendation was spin up like a a simplified repro in another environment that you can test with to validate um before before doing all that so those are always those are things that patrick and i do all the time so all right what do you think about that patrick yay nay oh it's great yeah okay yeah, wonderful all right, uh, so uh, Alex, uh, a member for 30 months. Man, that's bananas. So it says, thank you, Patrick, for your perspective on the tabular analyzer report. Uh, works beautifully uh, with your solution of active inactive relationships. Wow. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> See, I expected that to come in in a different way of like, hey, how would you like go about? <laughs> we chatted about this and I was like, oh, you should try this. I wasn't sure. I'm like, you should try this. I think this will work. I forgot who I helped someone with, with a similar scenario. and It worked. All right. Yeah. That's great. What was what was the uh, yeah. what was the. I can't give it away right now. I'm not at liberty no. to talk well, so, about but, it. So, but active, so active and active relationships uh, to me tells me that you use the use relationship function. Yeah, we're looking so for that. there was yeah. multiple relationships. There was multiple relationships. There were multiple ways to relate these two tables because there's multiple columns. Like the fact table, let's say the fact table has two dates on it, and yeah. then there's a date table, and we needed to order date visualize and ship date. it two different ways. Yeah, we need to visualize it two different ways. And it was like, do you copy the table? Do we try to change the model to accommodate what we're trying to do? And we just had a conversation. I was like, ah, we should think about the questions we're trying to answer first, and mm -hmm. then change the model. And I mean, you know, Alex is just. You know, he's great. He, oh, he, he went off and I thought we were going to come back and have another conversation, but we didn't. He just <laughs> did it himself. <laughs> uh, ah, there you go. So he posted it. I didn't know he wanted to go at that level, but right. where does the relationship exist? Is it between table or columns? That was the problem right? we were trying and to so, solve. Yep. And so nice. he went off and yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Nice. Um, Alex also said uh, he has an outstanding M challenge we need to check out. Oh, is that? I'm I assuming he. I'm assuming crazy, he is Patrick. Yeah. Yeah, I have a crazy one. I'm gonna show it to him on Monday. It's. Uh, I don't know if we could do this. I don't know. All right. All right. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. We'll in the do, other, if we do, it's gonna uh, be a video. Okay. Yeah, cool. If we do, it's gonna be a video. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah. The other Alex uh, coming in 26 months as a member outstanding um uh compact uh team rob 
or tabular team ed mode formatting on pivot tables. Compactor tabular oh, oh, mode oh, oh. formatting. How, how are you going to show the pivot tables? Are you going to go, go in compact mode or table mode? Um, I think that's what he's talking about. This is an Excel question. I mean, we're talking about it's got to be an Excel question. Yeah, it's I, I don't Excel. even. Well, I don't even know that there was a. I didn't even know that there were options for compact or tabular. Yeah, yeah. I you could change. I don't. Change I don't live in Excel. So looks. sorry. Uh, I don't either, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Excel is a part of all of yeah. our lives. So, so if he's asking that question to you and me, I would say I didn't even know they existed. So, yeah, like Power BI report. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I say I say compact. I say compact. Yeah, Will, Will, <sighs> Will agrees with me. I say compact. Will, I agree with you. Will compact. I'll go with Will. I trust Will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Compact. Wait, he says Power BI has the same options. Okay, I gotta look at this now. Oh, oh. Alex. Okay. Well, so you see, but this is the difference that I don't. I try not to use matrix tables either. I try and actually use visuals that, you know, help me in that. Yeah. And not matrix all the thing. Man, people use. <laughs> Will said terrible idea. <laughs> trust me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. Okay. Good. Yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, uh, oh, uh, okay, it's, it's beef Twitter beef on. between Rob uh, Colley and it. Was this the thing where I chimed in talking about the that was where the 3D pie chart thing came in? I just I saw a 3D pie chart and always, I just jumped in on that. I said 3D all the things. Yeah, you should you should always use 3D. 3D I, know. Every, I don't know why we don't have 3D. That's why we need BI. that in Power BI yeah. reports, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Will. Hey, Will. 3D bar hey, charts Will. Can we get and pie charts. In Power and, BI? You know, we we got zoom in. I, I want to wear the glasses too. I want to wear 3D glasses when I look at reports. A lot of movies the have that now. You, yeah. You the green and the yeah. red. Oh, the blue and the red. The blue and the red. Yeah. The blue and the red. Blue and the red. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Why, why don't we have that? Movies have it now. Can't Power BI reports? I want that data to leap out at me. Oh boy. Oh, you should use data in space. Data in space <laughs> on your mobile phone. Data in space. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Matthew. Matthew, you know. You know. Matthew knows, right? So it's guy in a cube, not guy in a square. Oh boy. It's 3D. Okay. Let's just There you go. <laughs> okay. Let's let's keep going. Let's Slide keep down going. my spark lines. <laughs> I like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah vr power bi uh, well you can do we'll that the, i mean you can do that with the mobile app and do like the yeah uh, you can get, get augmented those, reality uh, there holo lens get you a holo lens and walk around with a wet lens thing on your face anyway what's it called you know the thing that microsoft hollow sells, the hollow hollow lens did you yeah, say holo i did say holo <laughs> holo a holo lens <laughs> I guess. I mean, I guess it depends on uh, on your on your accent, maybe. Yeah. 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 Holo. A holo lens. Let's roll. All right. Tom, coming in with a question. Uh, should incremental refresh work with the date field? Yeah. With with the param also as date. Wait, what? Oh no! It's got to be daytime. Oh yeah, it's got to be daytime. Um, or does it daytime. require the daytime field? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's daytime. Yeah, it's very specific. Right. You, it's it will not work with just date. Even, yeah, but just you know, don't have time. It'll yeah. add the zero, zero, well, the, zero, zero, yeah, zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. So Yolo it'll basically lens. treat it as Yolo. midnight. Yeah, Yolo lens. <laughs> Yolo lens. Yeah. Every once in a while, I hear the Hololens lens kind of pop up in conversations or news. Mm -hmm. Like they've got some new feature, and then it kind of dies out again. And I don't know. Yep. Yep. I don't know. Yep. All right. Uh, uh oh. Yeah. Laura's coming in with a question. Oh, uh, man, you know this data, data Mart Laura. versus Data Flow or Data Set. Which and when? Uh, this is how I know people don't watch our videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure you watch it, Laura. Um, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna pick though. I'm just gonna pick one. It depends. I'm gonna say. It depends. No, I'm gonna say Data Set always. What? I know, I know. There you what? go. Three dollars right. on the it depends. Three dollars on right. it depends. I know. I did a video on it 
also. And then Matthew also, the, was that your uh, friends with benefits or your, your data, data flows with benefits? Blog post, Matthew. That was a good blog post as well. Um, <laughs> Will. I like Will's. <laughs> Oh, why why discriminate <laughs> why discriminate but, why discriminate? but so let me ask you a question when i create a data mart i also get a data set i mean right yeah uh sorry my reaction wasn't to your comment right so when i create a data mart i get a data set do i use the data mart or do i use the data set or is the data mart is the data set using the data mart <laughs> But is the data more actually building a data flow under the covers? I don't know, right? So many layers of things just that's power, going on. Here, there. Yeah. here's my general stance, and, and Alex will appreciate this. Just power query all the things, right? Power query all power the query things. Power query all the things. Wait, just wait, do that. Melissa's got something going here. Oh, what did Melissa say? Oh, on she's that got note. a gift coming. She's got a oh, gift coming. I have a all gift right, coming Melissa. from the community on Monday. I'm finally publishing. Oh, oh, oh sweet. Right. Nice. All right. Nice. All right. Nice. I love I love the diagram that she's yeah. got. It's it is yeah. bananas. Yep. Um uh I saw there was something else I saw. Where was it? Oh, uh, I so Thomas rich and everything you were thinking about. No, 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 no. So Thomas Thomas made a comment. I didn't know data mart is for Dynamics 365. I didn't understand that cuz that's not true. So uh, unless unless the thought there is like use data marts to kind of stage data out of Dynamics 365 instead of hitting uh, Dynamics 365 that directly. Point. That, that is a good point. I could do that with the data flow though too, technically. Yeah. So, um, oh, or you could do that with Azure Synapse Analytics and do Synapse Link. It's, that's why this is it depends. It depends. It yeah, absolutely. So many depends. options. So many options. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris, what Chris is right. Dataverse. Do? Dataverse is for dynamics, not data marts. Yes. Mm. And Scott, maybe. What are you trying to do? <laughs> it's Scott. There's Scott. <laughs> Where were you earlier, Scott? We needed you. <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny. That's funny. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Laura, for the question. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see here. TC. Uh, I've been building my relationships in one big diagram for years and recently started using multiple tabs to simplify things. Is there any way to view all of the tabs all at once? Ooh. Well, so no. Patrick, Patrick, show show what he's talking about or show what TC's talking about. You got right. Power BI desktop open. open with a model? I do, but I don't have a big model open. But yeah, go, I don't go have for it. A big model. Well, can you go to Power BI Desktop before I switch? Because yeah. I just see no, Management Studio. I see Management Studio. I don't have Management Studio on my screen. I see Management Studio. It's going to your other machine. Ah, oh, blast it. <laughs> All right, let's go to my machine. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> See, I see, I see your stuff, Patrick. I'm like, no, I'm not going to your machine. Yeah. Um, all right. So if you go to Power BI Desktop, uh, you'll have this default table, which is all tables, or default tab, which is all tables. So I think this is really the answer to the question. If you want to see it all at once, go to this tab, which has all of the tables. No. No? No. He wants to see each section of the model. Oh, so like, you want to see them like broken out? Create, you know, I can have a tab. Yeah, so yeah I, can I can do have a tab. one tab that focuses on internet sales and one that's focused on reseller sales and i want to see all of those right. at the same time different views of it yeah yeah, 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 nah. yeah. can't do that can't yeah, yeah. do that not in power bi desktop yeah so you can do that you can section them out so if you have different sections of your uh of your model like if you have multiple fact tables you could do it per uh one so you can have different ta nope. tabs here but no you're not going to see that reflected on this to say like these are all the the sections that's an interesting idea it'd be kind of cool to just have them like kind of carved yeah. out in a way yeah. um although that could yeah. get that could yeah. get distracting and messy very quick depending on your model some of the models i've seen um huh. so oh you can't huh. see thank you thank you johnny yeah so the tabs here on the bottom all tables that's the default and then you can make another uh can make another tab here you can make as many tabs as you want um and then just have them do yeah. different things um, or B for yep. different uh, like perspectives or things if you want to. I've seen this where you've got just a lot of tables in your model and you want to kind of um, 
you know, break them out, like, make them like easier to subject see. subject areas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like have each tab represent a subject area of each section of the model. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the only quote-unquote overview would be all tables, which is everything. I mean, that's the, yep. that's all you're going to get. So. And if you got a lot of tables, that's just kind of chaos. Just yeah. kind of chaos. Yeah, yeah. So. Jeez, I don't know. I got to go fix my machine yeah. here. Yeah, you got to think about that. I, next time I will, I will ask you. Uh, before the stream to make sure. All right, uh, Paul. Paul's got a question. Uh, is there a quick way to reset all visuals in a report uh, to the visual themes default rather than one by one? So we reset all visuals. Ooh, is there a way to copy the mobile view? Oh, so this, this is two questions in one. Um, uh, so the first part about the themes um is there a way to reset all the themes if they've been set i don't think so hang on let's go back to my machine let's see let's see so if i go view and we go here so you can do okay i don't I think there is a i'm not aware of a way to reset the theme on everything instead of going one by one so I've, I've never seen an option for that. It's a good idea though. That'd be nice to have if you just want to yeah. start over. So yeah, it'd also be nice. Uh, so when you copy a visual, let's see, let's see if this works. Let's see. Yeah, but if, if, if you want to reset the theme, you'd have to make sure before you do anything to know the reset point. Well, no, but basically it's meaning like get rid of any like customized uh, formatting, mm -hmm. I guess, and go back to whatever the yeah. theme is. So yeah. you can reset it yeah. back to the default theme, uh, but anything you've done in a visual to override formatting, that you have to undo per visual. It's not going to do that um, individually. Alex, um, Alex said something about going in the zip file. And, uh, that is not uh, supported, uh, buddy. Uh, Way to, uh, yeah. Sure, uh, not supported, not supported, yeah, not supported. Yeah, that's sarcasm. sarcasm. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Um, hey, you posted it. So, so, but one one thing uh, that was interesting when I paste the visual. So, so this would be something nice. Also, is usually like in Office apps when you paste something, you get that option to choose like, hey, uh, use the pages formatting or pull the formatting from the other page. It, it kind of be nice when you paste it to like say reset it because what I was thinking is if yeah. it did that and I didn't think it did uh, but then you could just copy all the visuals to another page and then just reset it that would be kind of cool yeah. so oh well oh well oh well all right so sorry there was that was a, there was kind of two things on there sorry uh, so the first answer is no there's not a quick way um, and then is there a way to copy the mobile view from one report to another? Not to my knowledge. I don't think so. No, nope. don't think you could do that. So all of these are good things for ideas.powerbi.com. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, chat's funny. All right, uh, Tom. So first off, two new members. Thank you so much. Uh, Metal three J O. Uh, or zero. I don't know if that's an O or a zero. Uh, and then Michael also uh, coming in as members. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, and then Tom coming in with a super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, thanks for your help. Uh, what you use this contribution for depends. The it depends jar. Explain the it depends jar again. Uh -huh. So we say it depends so much. And so we decided to collect the money. And at the end of the year, we're gonna decide some charity to donate it to, yep. right? I think yep. that's what we say. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. I know uh, Kevin out. is Kevin is not in the uh, stream today. He's normally been keeping track. Yeah. So Chewy's kind of Chewy, Chewy is Kevin backup. today. Yeah. Um, and he's yeah. keeping us uh, straight and narrow. Uh, so, yep. So appreciate the. I love the community's coming together also to track it because yeah. Patrick's not good at that. So, yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. we can count what's in the jar, but that's gonna, no fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm so. just gonna say we're gonna give this amount and we'll <laughs> do it. But whatever, whatever it is, we'll probably double it. We'll match whatever it is and then donate it to some charity. 
Yep. 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 All right, uh, Thomas, coming into the question. Uh, if you say that a data warehouse and traditional ETA takes too much time, what are you throwing out? Data quality, maybe. Uh, uh, there's it depends. So if you, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> like, that's, that's true. It depends. But if you throw it out, right? If I get rid of my data warehouse, if I say, boom, no more data warehouse, and then where am I getting my data from? Do I need to go to the source? to get this data is there a lake that maybe someone built there i can go get this data from so i'm losing that layer where all the central data is but not just the central data then what about all the logic that went into building that report to collect that data in a specific way so that when people connect to it they know they're getting one version of the truth yep. um, and then if if we're just going to the source to get the data, how much ETL do we need to do in Power Query to clean the data up and bring it back to the pristine point that the data warehouse was in? That's just three things. I'm, I'm sure I'm missing about a hundred other things. Now, the disadvantage of having a data warehouse is managing it, maintaining it, making sure it's fresh. How long does it take to refresh? You need a subject matter expert to build a data warehouse. So you gotta figure out you know, which end of the spectrum you wanna be on, which one is, you know, more beneficial to you. There's a lot of people saying we don't need data warehouses anymore, you know, um, but you do need that central repository of data somewhere that instead of people hitting your source system to try to go get it and clean it up. And I don't know, I'm, I'm still, I still believe there's a need for a data warehouse, but right, I made 50 this year. Preach, so, um, preach, preach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. All right, uh, Johnny. Stoking the flame a little bit. Why are you guys in the cube not using waterfall layout? Because we will not be pressured into visual types. <laughs> there we go. I don't have a good reason. I don't have a good reason. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, William, we're bumping up against the clock. William, William, William. Uh, any advice to explain that report builder and paginated reports would be better for static metrics individually distributed to a couple hundred consumers? Is there a better solution I'm not thinking about? So definitely it depends. I was gonna say this was not, it depends, but it, well, it um, what, depends on what you're what, trying to report and what depends. question you're trying to answer, right? Because but if it's uh, static, well, well, static. Like, what does static mean? That's what he said. So I so know, but what does static no mean? Hoc. I don't need. Well, I no, don't I know. A whole bunch of ad hoc analysis, all that stuff that probably. So you just got a report me. that you're it's sticking just... a card on, or you just want a flat table? Then yeah. sure, do a page. Yeah. But that's where I'm saying it depends on like what are you actually presenting. And if you're just doing a card or you're doing a flat table, then yes, absolutely. We absolutely recommend go paginate report for that. Don't do a Power yeah. BI. Power BI reports are for more exploring the data and slicing and dicing and, and doing that. So if that's not your goal, then, um, you know, then go that way. Yep. So, all right. Um, I don't, I don't know if you've got anything you want to extra you want to add to that. I know if, if it's a static report, you go, you go paginate it. You know, if there's not a lot of interactivity and all that stuff, go paginate it. But it also depends on what you're putting on the paginated report. Right? Yeah, yeah. And there's, you know, Power BI is more modern with its nice, pretty visuals and stuff like that. And I mean, you could do the stuff and paginate it to make it look nice and clean, but it requires a lot more effort than building Power BI reports. So, yeah. I mean, we could talk about this forever. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But if you just want to use paginated reports, go for it, you know? <laughs> uh, Chewy, you're, uh, I'm, I'm losing faith in you, buddy. Because <laughs> it's the second time he's asked, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, you're supposed I to be keeping know. track. Wait, I can tell you. Hang on, one. <laughs> it is five. It is All five. Right. It All is right. five, Chewy. It's five. You had one job. It's five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I kid, I kid, I kid. No interactivity. That's right, William. Yeah, no if interactivity. You don't, yeah. Paginate it. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, then I would also say it depends on like what kind of visual type are you going to be using. Like, is it even available in paginated yeah. reports or? Yeah. 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 Um. Uh. So I saw. So William. Uh. Or not William. Uh. Who was it? Who was it? Uh. Metal. Uh. Three J O. I saw your question. 
Um, you are a new member, so Chew I will. will. He's new. I will. He's new. I will do it. Yeah. Remember, you got to put Q colon in front of the question, though. Uh, I was gonna say that. All right. Uh, so, hi guys. In my job, I need to create a data warehouse. I was thinking to use Power BI Data Mart, uh, but I didn't find a way to back up the data. Ooh. Uh, could you suggest to me any idea? You shaking your you head no. <laughs> Well, because you can't back up the, da the why, data mart. Why you would you need to back data. up your data? It's in the cloud. It's oh, There's redundancy. Oh there's. So I did a video where somebody <laughs> did. And I was like this about backing up your Power BI data set. Things happen. You need to back up. You need to back stuff up. Uh, and so there's no option. If, if that is a critical <laughs> need right now, I would not use Power BI data marks. I'm just being honest with you, right? And you talked about this three times in the calls that we were on about you got to find what, you know, what tool fits the overall problem. And if it's or the overall question or, you know, thing that you're trying to answer. And if it doesn't support something that's critical to your organization, don't use it. Build a data warehouse. Um, anyway, um, where you can back it up. So, yeah, so anyway, that, that's a go, good Matthew. point, though. Yeah. yeah, it's a great point. It's a great point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, not everyone gets Adam's sarcasm. So thankfully, Matthew does. And that's what's important. Uh, yeah, so, I yes. Mean, yeah, I was I was I was jesting with my why would you need to back? But you up? do make you a good point. Backups. But you but but you do make a good point. It is in the cloud. It should be a way available. You should be able to you shouldn't have to worry about it. So anyway. All right, and we are over time, but there was one last minute super chat. This will be the last question. All right, because we're over. Uh, Toma, thank you for the yeah. super chat. Any way to hover over a report tooltip page? It disappears as soon as you hover over. So I, I think what they're what what they mean here is uh, when you hover over to leave it there, even when the mouse moves off. Yeah. Like, how do I keep it yeah. there? Um, so unfortunately, no, not not an option today. It would be a good property to say, you know, stay this long, right? Stay for three seconds, stay yeah. for four seconds, something like that. Or, or like a pin, yeah. like if you could, pin, but I don't know how you would click on the pin yeah. because you can't, yeah. you yeah. can't do that because it would go away the minute yeah. you move. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that'd be nice to give you an option to maybe pin it. So you can maybe do a focus mode and like, you know, maybe yeah. a bookmark that. Mm -hmm. and so that would be yeah. interesting. So yeah, no no option for that today. So ideas that power I love mm -hmm. it. So all right, uh, we are over. Uh, so thank you everyone for uh, participating with us on this day. Uh, Patrick, any uh, closing words of wisdom? Hey, the world is opening back up. The world is opening back up. There's conferences. There's there conferences. so many things that you can do. Go to some conferences, go meet some people, leave your house, get out the basement uh, or wherever you are. Right? Don't stay in the house. It's going to rain here all week, so I'm probably going to be in the house because I'm writing a, a neat script, a script that I'm enjoying. But get out the house, man. Get out yep, the house. Yep, go to a conference. Yep. Adam, Adam and I are going to be at many conferences this fall. So. Um, it's a couple exciting. of them, yeah, a couple of them. So, and I know Jason. Jason is is at a conference, I think Brighton, or no, yeah. that's next week. It's the week after, not this week, next week, right? Yeah, I think. Um, and then, uh, oh, Jason. Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, uh, September's got a, a couple different conferences going on. Uh, same with October's got a bunch, uh, same thing as, uh, yeah. November. So yes, yes. Go out and say hi, meet people face to face, learn things together. It'll be amazing. All right. Thank you so much everyone for hanging out. Uh, we will see you next week, next Saturday. It'll be amazing. Uh, and enjoy yep. uh, your week. See ya. So welcome to the fire. I've been waiting for this moment. The final battle of the chosen. See, I'm never gonna quit. Got my legacy set in motion. So welcome to the